Now let's, let's first start with our power sector uh, because we had news coming out uh, early today, uh, early yesterday, late yesterday, that Canadian Manitoba has won the bid for the transmission company of Nigeria. Now, I would like to ask Samuel, should we be happy? Should we, we be, should we be rejoicing about this just yet? Uh, especially when we haven't seen our discos, that's our uh, distribution companies and maybe generation uh, not uh, companies not being sold just yet. Uh, can you give us an update uh, on, on how soon we'll see these companies coming into play and of course uh, how soon we're going to see the federal government handing over uh, these company uh, to these companies uh, uh, from the private sector well uh, manitoba has been around trying to come very um, intensely into the power sector in nigeria since almost um, 2000 2001 and to say today i mean that they have now been appointed to manage um, the transmission company is something we should really cheer about. Um, they are a company that has significant amount of exper experience working out of Canada, and we believe that they should bring that kind of experience um, here in Nigeria. Uh, apart from that, it signals the entire privatization process. Uh, today, there are bids coming in for the power, com the power generation companies, and, and hopefully next week we should see um, bids going out for the discos. So I think that we are on course. Um, how long will this take? Um, I do expect that this should be uh, probably concluded in the next 90 days, but it just time will tell how the process is administered. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a good sign, really. Well, Samuel, let's turn our attention to the oil and gas sector, where more recently we heard that oil marketers are threatening to boycott uh, fuel importation over the delay of subsidy uh, payments by the federal government. Now, give us a picture of how uh, this is affecting the economy uh, in terms of fuel scarcity uh, here in Nigeria and, of course, uh, in exactly what the federal government plans is doing about this problem. It's a major problem. Um, the, the, the oil trading business is a thin margin business. And if you see that a lot of the deliveries um, that had been done around January are still hanging up till now, then it shows a lot of concern. Obviously, there are issues of corruption which they are trying to audit and ensure we get it right so that we do not pay the wrong people. But clearly, there are also valid suppliers in the midst that are being delayed. What this really begins to do, it, it, it weakens the businesses of uh, valid businesses that a lot of the marketers have done. Um, this is not to say, I mean, fraudulent um, undertakers should not uh, be fished out and prosecuted, but I think we need to have a fast way mm. of doing this. I mean, it's been on since January. This is getting into August, and we've still not seen the end of these investigations. Yeah, well, Samuel, more importantly, how do you see this affecting uh, bankers' books uh, in the coming, especially when it comes to their results uh, that are being released? Of course, you know many banks uh, have loans to oil, uh, oil and gas marketing companies, and of course, uh, we may they are re they are reducing the amount they're lending to these companies now. But I'd like to know how we're going to see it impact uh, on those banks who still had some of these oil and gas marketing companies on their books. It will be my expectation, quite frankly, that the, the Federal Ministry of Finance and the entire machinery should look very quickly at this, um, because if those books continue to remain um, outstanding, then you begin to get into sticky loans. And of course, those sticky loans come back to impact um, the profit perspective of the banks. Um, we would not like to see that. Um, today, banks have slowed down exposures to this sector until the federal government clears the air as to what they want to do um, with the SDN notes. Mm. Uh, we only hope that they resolve this quite quickly. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Uh, that was Samuel Egubo, an energy uh, uh, analyst uh, with Diamond Bank, uh, actually the divisional head of energy with Diamond Bank, giving us his take on what's going on in Nigeria's energy sector.